Marty here, the star... Come on, Marty. ...co-star of Madagascar. You're in for a crack of lagging good time. But first, you gotta meet my zoo mates. It's showtime. Hey there, baby cakes. I feel nauseous. Skipper here. By now, you've probably heard that we busted clean out of the Central Park Zoo and ended up on the island of Madagascar. And let me right. tell you something. This ain't no walk in the park here, no siree. Anyway, the word is out about our little getaway, so we're looking for recruits to help other Zoosters catch up on the watch, know what I'm saying? So zip up your jungle gear and get ready to earn your stripes, because we're up to Melman's neck in wildlife trivia. Skipper, little help here, buddy. Hi there, recruits. Either get your mammal paws on deck and report for game duty now, or watch the demo for some quick training. Oh yeah, there's cool previews to watch too. Play to begin the game. You're up, baby face, pronto style. tried holding your breath underwater? I bet that's pretty hard, huh? Even this animal has to come up for a breath every now and then. Is this for real? This is not for real. A great white shark is just a big fish and fish don't have to come up for air at all. This works out perfectly because I avoid water at all costs. Picks a lizard as a token. Whatever, you're up. These animals have scent glands between their toes to mark territory wherever they go. Is this for real? This is for real. Territorial gray wolves always make an impression. Yeah, kind of like me. Hey, Chiefy, Juliet, buddy, it's your turn. Hey there, sweet cakes. You might find a river dolphin in all of these places except the Amazon, the Ganges, the Atlantic, the Yangtze. River dolphins live in rivers like the Amazon, Ganges, and Yangtze. Last time I checked, the Atlantic was an ocean. Oh, yeah. Hey, Chimpy, Bonza, whatever. Stop staring at your belly button, you're up. When does a male frigate bird inflate its throat pouch? When it's hungry, during the winter, when courting a female, after it eats. Male frigate birds inflate their pouches to display for potential mates. I can create a display too. Wanna see me dance? Morty, baby, it's your turn. 
No, I had to worry about plants, too. Which of these plants feeds on animals? Agave, poison ivy, petunia, Venus flytrap. flytrap attracts insects and other small creatures with its sweet fluids and then snap the little animals trap before you know it oh i'm gonna have nightmares don't worry melman i think you'll be okay masakura hop to it joke that starts like this what's the difference between a turtle and a tortoise those shells oh wait that's wrong isn't there a joke that starts like this what's the difference between a turtle and a tortoise i have a dad generally speaking people use the term tortoise if the creature lives on land and turtle if it doesn't Hey, Chiefy, Juliet, buddy, it's your turn. Unlike yours truly, these homely creatures will not eat other mammals even when they're very hungry. Is this for real? This is not for real. Most baboon species will eat small mammals, birds, grass, fruit, steak, or whatever else they can get their hands on. Oh, I found out they were baboons. All chips on deck. You're up! I honestly don't know this one. Which is not a real bird? Darwin's macaw... Hyacinth macaw, red and green macaw, Buffon's macaw. Well, I knew macaw was a bird. I didn't know about these ones. Uh, let's go with. Darwin's macaw is not a real bird. It wouldn't have survived anyway. I picked that because of Charles Darwin, just because I heard the name. Psst, Mo. You're really a cat, right? It's your turn, kitty! Conservationists sometimes cut off these animals' horns in order to protect them. Is this for real? This is for real. Rhino horns are removed to discourage poaching, which has ravaged the world rhino population. Masakura, hop to it! Nothing. Ladies and primates, lizards and lemurs, step right up for double or nothing. Answer this question correctly and you move ahead two stages. But the deal is, me and my boys are gonna rig it up to be a little tougher. What do you say? Are you wild enough to risk it?
skinned newts are served as a delicacy in Japan. Is this for real? This is not for real. Rough skinned newts are actually one of the most poisonous animals on earth. A human would die if it tried to eat one. So don't say I didn't warn you. But I suppose by that point, it'd be too late. We got double. Newt. The only newt I heard of is Newt's Commando from the Fantastic Beasts series. Oh yeah, they're making a third, fourth, and fifth movie. Cool. Hey Chiefy, Juliet, buddy, it's your turn. There are pretty animals, like me, and useful animals, like these guys. Where would you find these animals most useful? Rainforest, marsh, river valley, desert. Well, I don't know if, it's, if this is in Egypt or not, but I can pretty much tell it's a desert. Camels are quite useful, especially in dry climates like the desert, where they can travel long distances without drinking much water. Good thing, because they're sure not getting by on looks alone. Well, I'll be a monkey's uncle. You're up, Mason. What species of this animal is famous for its acrobatic, twirling jumps out of the water? Let's watch this video again. It's so pretty. And amazing. What species of this animal is famous for its acrobatic, twirling jumps out of the water? Spinner dolphin. I can twirl like a spinner dolphin, but only underwater. But those girls really know how to put on a show. Smile and wave, Morty baby. You're on deck. Oh, what brutes! I love it. What is the maximum speed that these rams run at each other when butting heads? Five miles per hour, 15 miles per hour, 20 miles per hour, 30 miles per hour. Three? Bighorn rams run into each other at speeds up to 20 miles per hour. Mm -hmm. hmm. You, the clever chameleon, get ready. What is this newt's secret weapon that might have caused that snake to pick on someone else? Sharp claws. A radioactive tail. Toxic bacteria. Razor-like teeth. Most newts secrete toxic bacteria to protect themselves from predators. Hey, it's survival of the fittest, baby. And when you're as small as a newt, anything goes. Yep. Whatever you are, it's your turn.
You've got to know your peeps. Which of the following is related to this creature? Dolphin. Seahorse. Snail. Crab. I'm going to see this video at the end. You've got to know your peeps. Which of the following is related to this creature? Dolphin. Seahorse. Snail. Crab. The seahorse and the pipefish are related. Now go on, give each other a hug. Oh, no arms? Well, you just do your best then. Banana breath, get ready. Solve the word puzzle to find an activity you aren't likely to see tigers doing very often. I mean, besides dating hippos. so they rarely do it. They stick to their hot tubs. Wow, would you look at that? You got it, but a little on the slow side, don't you think? A Bengal tiger's stripes are like fingerprints. No two patterns are the same. Smile and wave, Morty baby. You're on deck. Are you wild enough? You feeling lucky, chump? I dare you. following have people not done with frogs used them in rain rituals made frog juice made cosmetics lick them i know the answer i should have done double or nothing oh wait if i had done double or nothing it would give me a whole of pressure no one makes cosmetics out of frogs at least not yet not that licking frogs is any better. You, the clever chameleon, get ready! the word puzzle to find out what these animals use to mark their nests. I have no clue. with bird guano, also known as poop. Wait, really? Ew, that's nasty. Is that that uh, right? Oi, Faye! You know how to use tools, but you can't unscramble Mama's little puzzles? That was actually pretty tricky. Julie, 
Are you really a primate? Whatever you are, it's your turn. It's showtime! Do rhinos naturally live in these places or not? I was in a joke and we say yes. Oh, but wait a minute. Maybe one of those two live in New York City. I didn't get it in time. Oh, well. Mason, put your hands to good use. Grab the remote and get ready. Are you wild enough? You feeling lucky, chump? I dare you. What's the crime this time? of these characters might be surprised to find out that he is a close relative of Woody Woodpecker. Which one? Chicken Little, Toucan Sam, Donald Duck, Roadrunner. I'm gonna say Wood one If he knew that they were cousins, Toucan Sam might share some of his delicious Fruit Loops with Woody Woodpecker. Hmm, I wonder if I'm related to the Toucan at all. I have never heard of two teen scenes, so that's why I didn't go with that. Mort, it's your turn, little buddy. of animals like this one drown each year when they're chased into the water by predators because they can't swim. Is this for real? This is not for real. Tapers are surprisingly good swimmers and spend a lot of time in the water. Well, to each his own. You, the clever chameleon, get ready. Would you look at that? These killer crocodiles are close relatives of all of the following, except Komodo dragons, dwarf crocodiles, alligators, caimans. While they're both reptiles, the Komodo dragon and crocodile are not close relatives. As for who you'd rather bump into, honey, you're on your own. Wow. Smile and wave, Julian of the Jungle. You're on deck. We need to. Oh, wait, I already said that. Some of this guy's relatives actually live in rivers instead of the ocean. Is this for real? This is for real. Some dolphin species live in rivers. Hmm. 
I've never seen one. Have you? I saw one a few minutes ago. While playing the game. Mason, put your hands to good use. Grab the remote and get ready. Okay, Professor, what do you call someone who studies birds? I do not have a clue. If you've got questions about steak or being a zoo celebrity, ask me. But if you want to know about birds of paradise like this western parotia, ask your favorite ornithologist. Never will have gotten that. Of all steak, you say, Alex. Which steak do you like the best? I know he won't answer me. But it would be interesting to see what he would say. Wait, does he write a sawing or a New York strip or a ribeye or a polo house? Wonder what his answer would be. Furry face, little baby lemur guy, you're up. This animal's umbrella-shaped body is called a gel pack, bell, shoot, bubble. Let's see this again. This animal's umbrella-shaped body is called a Gel pack, bell, shoot, bubble. A jellyfish's body is called a bell, but don't try ringing it, cause I have a hunch you'll be sorry. A bell? Never will have gotten that. But yeah, jellyfish do steam. And even though it has never stunned me, I can definitely understand that it definitely hurts. So I'm gonna go not bother them if I ever see one. But I have never seen a jellyfish in person in person. A moon jellyfish, huh? Learn something new every day. You, the clever chameleon, get ready! Everyone knows that penguins are psychotic, but are they crazy enough to live on Antarctica? Yes. See what I mean? Totally insane! Many penguins live in frigid waters around Antarctica and spend time on the ice-covered continent. What a wimp! Ho 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 ho! Nice one, Stipper. Julian Palamine, it's your turn! This animal is usually just called a platypus, but can you solve the word puzzle to find the longer name it also goes by? Come to think of it, 
The platypus's mouth does kind of look like a duck's bill. What a silly fella. Yeah, that was right. Wow, would you look at that. You got it, but a little on the slow side, don't you think? I forgot. And plus, it was a wrong name. Mason, put your hands to good use. Grab the remote and get ready. An animated version of this funky animal is the spokes lizard for what insurance company? Geico? That little gecko in those Geico commercials, <laughs> that cracks me up! Oh yeah, I've seen those commercials. Furry face, little baby lemur guy, you're up! What the heck? I can't remember. Are these crustaceans or insects? Hermit crab. Silverfish. Honeybee. The civil fish one was a guess. Lounge lizard, grab the remote, you're up. Are you wild enough? You feeling lucky, chump? I dare you. Baby Wallaby. Its mom can produce two types of milk at the same time for babies of different ages. Is this for real? This is for real. A female Wallaby can supply two types of milk at once. Jeez, talk about multitasking. Double. Ahoy there, Jules. Wipe that smile off your face and get a move on. You're up. This sounds like a bad horror movie. Occasionally, one of these animals goes on a killing spree and slaughters several deer or sheep in one night. Is this for real? This is for real. Hey, I guess cougars are more ferocious than I thought. Yeah. Hey Tarzan, drag your knuckles on deck and take your turn. My favorite part of the game. Every now and then you have to take the spin. Go ahead, click the red button. Bad 
bad news is you gotta stay where you are. The good news is I'm here and I'm groovy. advice from your pal Skipper. It's your turn! Oh! Who knew these animals could be dangerous? Male platypuses have poisonous stinging spurs on what part of their bodies? Bill. Tooth, tail, hind feet. Male platypuses can puncture opponents or predators with the poisonous spurs located on their hind feet. Ooh, what a bad boy! Yeah. Leatherneck, front and center. These little darlings are having a ball in the snow. Bless them. But where do otters spend most of their time? In trees. On mountains. In igloos. In water. These playful otters spend most of their time in the water. No better place as far as I'm concerned. Oh, I see. Ahoy there, Jules. Wipe that smile off your face and get a move on. You're up. The praying mantis gets its name because it was used in ancient religious rituals. Is this for real? This is not for real. It's named because the position it sits in looks to some like praying. Maybe it is praying for a juicy insect snack. Hey Tarzan, drag your knuckles on deck and take your turn. Fuzzball, I've heard that sperm whale moms only care for their young for about a week. Is this for real? I want to see this again. Hey there, Fuzzball. I've heard that sperm whale moms only care for their young for about a week. Is this for real? This is not for real. Actually, sperm whales may nurse their young for several years until the calf can hunt on its own. Morty, you look pretty happy. Must be because you're about to win. mentioned in the song the 12 days of christmas is closely related to these pigeons don't know all you had to do was get to the second day when my true love gave to me two turtle doves and la 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 you know i'm no singer oh man i forgot the song that's why i did not get it
Leatherneck, front and center. With the ability to regrow a tail or leg that's been hacked off by a predator, the salamander certainly is at the top of its class. Solve the word puzzle to find the name of its animal class. Amphibian. Salamanders, like frogs, are amphibians. You speedy little devil, slide ahead too. Ahoy there, Jules. Wipe that smile off your face and get a move on. You're up. Are you wild enough? You feeling lucky, chump? I dare you. Whoa! This animal spends almost its whole life hanging upside down. Is this for real? This is for real. Sloths do almost everything upside down, including sleeping and eating. Hang loose, dude. It's all good. Wow. Mason, don't blow it. You're almost home. Which of these is not a name for this amazing animal? Red deer, elk, wapiti, waterbuck. Honeycakes, all of these names except waterbuck describe the same animal. Never heard of it. Marty, you look pretty happy. Must be because you're about to win. Okay, showtime. Hippos can open their mouths more than 300 degrees wide. Is this for real? This is not for real. Hippos can stretch their mouths about 150 degrees, which is still pretty impressive. Mm-hmm. That's right. Oh. Maybe I had that question before, but I forgot. Lizard, don't go changing colors or nothing. You're up. one strange looking critter. What are the paddle-like fins projecting from this animal's head used for? Defense, navigation, steering food into its mouth, avoiding collisions. They're called cephalic lobes and manta rays use them to steer food into their mouths. Uh. Nature never stops surprising me. Me neither. I forgot. Ahoy there, Jules. 
Wipe that smile off your face and get a move on. You're up. What are those big old funky things that grow out of a caribou's head called? Antlers. Gills. Hooves. Feathers. Antlers. Antlers grow out of the heads of male and female caribou. Now don't go making one of them mad. Yeah. Mason, don't blow it. You're almost home. Hey, hey, little help here. Are these animals lizards or birds? Wait, what? Chilean swift. Sandpiper. Skink. That was hard. One out of three? You ain't going nowhere. Morty, you look pretty happy. Must be because you're about to win. This fish can only spit once a day. Not very impressive. Is this for real? This is not for real. Insects should take cover because an archer fish can spit water through its mouth many times a day. I am officially back to being impressed. Okay? Psst. Lizard, don't go changing colors or nothing. You're up. Which of the following is not a mating ritual of these birds? Mating calls. Flashing their feet. Pointing their beaks in the air. Swimming in circles. You may catch these boobies flashing <coughs> their feet, but you will not catch them swimming in circles to attract a mate. Hey, you! Get your head out of the gutter! Well... Since we got that answer right, that means Massacre wins. Game is over. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. These boobies have airbags under their skin that cushion the impact when dive bombing into the water. As king of the jungle, I deem you the winner! Thanks, you're a great crowd!